Now to the latest now in the war in Ukraine. That country's president will address Congress tomorrow as Russia steps up its invasion. President Zelensky will appear before members of the House and Senate virtually. He gave a similar address to the British House of Commons last week. The talk comes as Russian President Vladimir Putin intensifies his assault on Ukraine, including airstrikes on the capital of Kyiv. Millions are leaving their homes, heading to neighboring countries. NBC's Jay Gray has the latest from the Polish-Ukrainian border. Hey there, and we're right up against it. You can see this is the border between Poland and Ukraine, and families continue to move in, walking this trail from Ukraine into Poland. Now, when the day started, uh, people were coming through in waves and a, and a little lighter than, frankly, we had seen uh, in the past. And I thought, well, maybe today's the day when things will slow down, when we won't see as many people making this journey. As the day progressed, we certainly did. We saw uh, families lining up for buses to take them to shelters and to train stations and some of those lines as long as we've seen in the three weeks here. Look, there are a couple of factors in all of this, and let's talk a little bit about it. First of all, you've got about 7 million people in Ukraine who are displaced, who don't have a home to go to. Their homes, their communities have been disrupted by this war, and so you have to figure some of them are, are trying to make their way this way. But then you've also got a, a missile attack that happened over the weekend, only about 15 miles from where we're standing right now. And so those who had taken some refuge in uh, the western section of Ukraine, Lviv, which is uh, not far from where we are right now, uh, have been alerted to the fact that, that the war has made it to their area. So those who had traveled from the east to, to the west now uh, perhaps making the trip as well because they just don't feel safe. That's the latest right now here along the Poland-Ukraine border. I'm Jay Gray. Back to you. You can help support the people of Ukraine by watching a documentary at the Can Can Theater. It's called Made It. It's a documentary about the Ukrainian revolution back in 2014. All the, of the proceeds go towards a nonprofit that's providing medical supplies to the injured in Ukraine. The showing is tonight at 730.